What's up, Videoeda friends? It's Yanis here and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build a Streamlit app from scratch in order to deploy your machine learning models. And more specifically, in this example, I have already trained and stored a machine learning model. It's an XGBoost model. And here, I'm just calling the model. First, I'm allowing the user to make some inputs on the left hand side. So for example, age is, let's say 25, minimum time play, sorry, total minutes played, I'm gonna say maybe 1000, then competition, Premier League, I'm gonna say true, pass completion, I'm gonna say 50%, and then I'm gonna leave the rest the same. And now I'm going to click predict market value, and this is calling our model, is feeding all this as inputs and is returning the predicted market value for a player that has these statistics over here. So it says it should be valued at 13.5 million. Now, if I go back over here in the previous video, if you want to see how we have developed this model, I'm gonna have a link in the video description we went through the development of the model. So we have done all the loading our raw data, we have done web scraping, joins, data preprocessing, visualizations, aggregations. Then we've run a few different models, we've done hybrid parameter tuning and we've stored our model. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Streamlit app in order to deploy your model. And before we jump into this video, let me just say that if you're passionate about data analytics and data science, then please consider liking this video, subscribing to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos. Right, starting with the first thing we have to do is that we have to import all the libraries we are going to use. Obviously we need Streamlit, Pandas, Pigol is so we can load our model, Plotly so we can plot the feature importances which is basically this plot over here. And then we also need PIL import image so we can load these images you see at the top. Right, next thing I do is that I set the layout to be white. Then I am just loading my model. So this is the name of our model we have stored in the previous video which is basically uh, this model over here, which is basically this file over here. This is our model and I'm just loading our model in. Next, I am loading the feature importances data frame, which again, we have stored in an Excel file in the previous video. Now we are just loading it in. And the reason we are loading this in is so we can create the Plotly graph in our Streamlit app. Next, I am adding in the sidebars an image, which is basically this image over here. Pick one is this one over here. Next, I am adding a header player input features, which is this. Sorry, let me remove this, which is uh, where is it? This header over here. And now we have to list all the features we have used to train our model. So the user has to basically fill in all the features that the model was trained on in order to fit that in the model and make the prediction. If you fit more or less features or in a different order, the model is going to be wrong. So in our case, we have all these features, which is basically this data frame you see at the top, and we have to have an input for all these features. Now, something that I have noticed is that initially when I created this app, my model only used these features over here. However, when I have rerun my model, it used different features. It actually used a lot more features. It used all of these features over here. So this is something to keep in mind. You need to have all the features that your model was trained on. Right, so what I'm doing here is that I am setting all the features and also the default values per feature. So if I click refresh uh, in my Streamlit app, I should get all the default values I see over there. There you go, you can see 37, which is basically the default values. Next, I am initializing this player underscore input object, which is empty for now. 
and I'm saying for column, which is all the column names, and then the default, which is going to be the value in default values, which is this one over here. If the column is com underscore Premier League, I want to add a select box, which is basically uh, this box over here, the true or false. Otherwise, if it's a numeric input, I want to create a sidebar dot number input and it's basically everything else. You can see all of them are number inputs. And I also add the default values in, which is basically the default values from here. Next, I am converting all these inputs now into a data frame and I'm storing it into input DF, which is basically this input df you see over here which we are going to feed into our ml model later on the next thing i do is that i load the image of my main page which is peak 2 which is basically this picture you see over here and i'm also adding our title which is this title you see over here next i am splitting my streamlit app into two columns so in Streamlit, if you want to break it into different sections, they are actually called columns. So with left column, basically saying on the left hand side, which is the left hand column, which is this one over here, I want to add a subheader, which is feature importance. And I also want to plot my feature importances. So it takes the DF we have just loaded, which is, where is it? This DF over here and then it plots the feature important score on the x-axis and then the variable on the y-axis orientation is horizontal title labels width and height and it's basically what you see over here this plotly graph we can actually zoom in if you want like this which makes it look a lot nicer right going back on the right column now i want to add a subheader which is a predicted market value i want to add a button and if we click this button then we are going to make a prediction so we are going to use our store model we are going to do dot predict on the input df we have just generated above here which is based on the selections of the user and then we are going to store this prediction in prediction over here if it's successful it's actually going to print our prediction as it does over here if i click predict you can see it printed our prediction else we are basically going to have enter inputs on the left which is basically if i refresh this we are going to see these enter inputs that we have over here right now in order to run this we're going to have to use visual studio code so first we have to create a new file which is going to be a python file then we are going to copy all this code and paste it into that new file so copy paste i'm going to rename this as market val predictions uh, 2 click rename and then I'm going to do file save all now I'm going to find this file and paste it in the folder I want it so in my case it's this file over here I'm going to cut it and I'm going to paste it uh, where is it so over here I'm going to paste it over here now I'm going to open Visual Studio Code and I need to open the file location the whole folder not just a file so in our case is this one over here market val prep 2 it's the same code as we had before next in order to run this i need to run streamlit run and then the name of the file so i'm just going to get the name of the file i'm going to replace it over here dot pi i'm going to copy this and i need to run this in a new command prompt so over here paste click run and this is going to open a new browser on your desktop there you go that we have our streamlit app let's test it oh we have an issue here we have to reduce the size of the feature importance so if i go back quickly uh, where is the size width i'm going to say maybe 400 then i'm going to do save i'm going to go back i'm going to click rerun there we go much nicer click predict yeah, we get the value is not a good value let's do 25 let's click run 
There we go. Let's test it. Let's change pass completion to maybe 30%. Let's change this to 11. Let's change something else. Recovery 0.80%. Let's do something else. Pass shot attack. Let's do six and then enter. Let's predict. There we go. We get 9.4 million. Let's test some of the important features. So competition Premier League says is a very important feature. So if we change the competition Premier League to true, let's see what this is changing. So from 9 million, you can see it jumped to 15 million. So we can use the feature importances in order to identify the important features, change them and get different market predictions based on the inputs. Right, so this is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video and you now know how you can use Streamlit in order to deploy your machine learning models. If you feel that you've gained enough value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you click the like button, subscribe to my channel and enable notifications for my future videos.